I am Zycox, as you may know by now. So, uh, in the previous video I said that I would cut back when, uh, yes. Um, actually, I, uh, I played a little bit, um, off video. So, um, just to, uh, not, not, a f not much, just two bandit, uh, parties only. And, uh, yes. The great thing is that I managed to get Marnet wounded by sending him in to battle and also I've managed to come to his aid once in battle so hopefully we'll, this time we will get to relationship 15 with him and then I will show you something new. Let's talk to him and oh look at this passing by passing by again passing by Se secretly passing by Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Nothing. Just passing by. Ah, uh, yes, we were passing by. Monet, what's wrong with the wash bucket in your arms? And you, Borsha, what are you doing holding a bundle of flowers? Uh, Emira fell from the horse and uh, no one's washing the clothes. I guess seeing the flowers she might feel better. Ah, okay, I see. Um, well, uh, go on. Passing by, passing by. <laughs> okay, another nice party interaction. And let's talk to him. Marnet, let's chat. How is your wound? Very nice. And here you see one extra option. Take this book. This you can also use to increase your relationship. And yes, I actually forgot myself. Now that I see it. So what happens, I can give him the book manual of arms this will increase your relationship by five and yes but don't worry you can get the book back well it's not in the baggage you will have to check his inventory and uh, yes one other thing that I forgot to mention um, about the iron shield that I had received from Nabar it is a random drop that you can get from battling sea bandits, sea raiders, I mean, sea, sea raiders, but it is also a drop that you can get from fighting forest bandits. Uh, you need to look out for the special troop that's called Sea Pirate, the Pirate King, among the sea bandits, and for the forest bandits you will look, need to look for the forest bandit leader. Right, so any of those troops have a chance of dropping the, an iron shield. And look here, in his inventory of Marnet, he has the book. So let's take it back. And at the same time, let's mention one thing, so, so you know. The only books that you can give away are the plus one skill books, and not books that you read until 100%. Right. So without further ado, let's get the next banded band. Oh, there's actually two parties. Yes, female bandit captain. That's the party that you have to look out for. Not the party, the troop that you have to look out for. That will randomly drop an iron shield. And as you can see, I'm a little bit wounded. I took quite a bashing while trying to save Marnet after <laughs> I sent him in all alone. But we should we should soon uh, finish the forest bandit quest, and then we can just um, continue on with the mainline quest. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, video frames is not very good at the moment. Um, yes, it seems like that my laptop is a little bit overheating so um, yes I think that I will need to let my laptop rest and uh, so I will cut out after this video uh, I will end this video after this battle I mean and then you um, yes then I will 
finish hunting the bandit the bandits uh, in the next video and then I will show you why I was so focused on getting Marnet to relationship 15 yes so uh, thank you for watching and I will just finish this battle and go on for saving. Ah, oh, lost. Two slave drivers. I really, really need to increase my surgery. Yes. Rodok. Rodoks are pretty nice infantry, actually. And the great thing is, as you can see, I can get a lot of prisoners thanks to my upgraded manhunters uh, ah yes one other thing that I also have to mention before I end this video um, is that manhunters that are wounded will not be able to have prisoners for you so uh, I think one slaver chief can actually uh, grants you four prisoner slots but if the slaver chief is injured uh, those prisoner slots will be lost uh, this will only go for the max, but it will not affect your current prisoners. So, for example, right now I have 47 prisoners, but if I dis uh, disband or if all my manhunters get killed, then I will still be in control of 47 prisoners. Yes. Oh, and I got a special item. Oh, okay. This is great that I can show you this also. In this video, this is rather nice so this is one of the legendary weapons that drops and uh, as I had mentioned before maybe you've forgotten um, the first legendary weapon that you drop will be of the type where you have the most proficiency and as I have one hand of proficiency the most I got this nice tank sword and for those of you who are not too knowledgeable about, about history Tang is refers to the Tang Dynasty of China, uh, which was in the. Uh, oh my gosh! Now, I, now I'm I'm taking a wild guess because I forgot. Uh, it should be the sixth century. Uh, um, around six hundred, uh, five hundred, the Tang Dynasty, I believe, and it was supposed to be one of the cultural. Um, golden ages of that time that China had and yes this is the nice tank sword and if you look at the stats it's fantastic I mean it deals one, as one-handed damage it deals more damage than my two-handed sword it is much faster it gets a bonus against shields and the speed rating is fantastic it has even more reach so uh, yes fantastic I can show you this and one more thing that I will show you is that um, when I equip the tank sword, uh, any legendary weapon will grant an ability bonus and a skill bonus. So, looking at this here, the tank sword grants power strike plus one, agility plus two, and one hun one handed weapon proficiency plus forty, which is of course rather nice. Uh, so as a side note to mention um, the agility bonus will allow me to uh, uh, yes raise my agility skills and uh, an unequipping the legendary weapon will reduce my agility but it will not uh, make you lose the skill point spent even if it's above the so-called maximum um, yes, which is rather nice. The other thing though is that power strike 15 is the maximum and a plus one bonus from the tank sword will, net, will not go over this maximum of 15. So you will not be getting 16. And one thing that you have to be aware of, I don't think this is intentional, um, or maybe it was just beyond the coding abilities, is that if you for example, if I upgrade to uh, Power Strike 15 and I equip the Tank Sword, I would be getting no bonus to Power Strike, which would be normal, yes? 
but if I then unequipped the tank sword, my power strike would be reduced to 14 because the game assumes that I yes, that I would be getting the minus 1 from unequipping the tank sword uh, even though I would have had power strike 15 without the tank sword so you have to be careful about getting your raising your skills to the maximum because you will not be uh, well you can equip the legendary weapons still but you will be in trouble if you unequip the legendary weapons yes so um, with this last information I will end this episode and thank you for watching bye bye